and welcome back here to Minecraft the first few days. Uh, last episode we decided to settle down here. It wasn't my first choice, but seeing as we seem to be stuck on a giant snowy island, didn't really have much choice. So we built this place and I've just made a couple of small changes to it. Um, I made this porch a little bit shorter because I think it looks better. And... I swapped over the back door. The door was there in the last episode. It's here now. And the reason for that being is I just feel it gives us a bit more freedom of space here. So we can come in here. We can walk all the way through. No problems there at all. But we've got all this space to put stuff in so we can get some more furnaces in, a few bits and pieces, and uh, so on. Now there's a couple other things I'd like to do in here today. The first one is uh, get this storage sorted out. Okay, we have um, yeah, a number of uh, chests up here. I'd like to fill up the, um, both sides of the roof with chests. And uh, the other thing I'd like to do is possibly replace these uh, fence posts with real glass. So, right. Um, what uh, we need to do here, okay, is if we just take some chests, just drop them in there. Now, we can't put these chests in between these uh, these these other chests. Now, the reason being is if there's if it's like this, and you just put the chest at the end, it becomes a double chest, and I don't want a double chest. Okay. And if it's in the middle, we literally can't put a chest in the middle. Right. The the reason being is. The game wants to make double chests when there's two chests on either side. It doesn't know which chest it wants to make a double chest, so it won't put a chest there. Likewise, if there's a double chest, let's make one like that, you still can't put one there because it will try to make a shrivel chest and doesn't want to do that. Uh, so, right, we now know we can't do that with ordinary chests. So what we're going to do is we're going to make trapped chests because trapped chests will not try to merge with ordinary chests. They don't actually have traps. It's worth pointing out. What a trap chest will do is, um, if you open a trap chest, it will send off a, a redstone signal, which you can be used to to set off a trap. You know, uh, fire an arrow, explode some dynamite, things like that. I'm not going to do that at this point. All we want really is to get those uh, these chests working uh, side by side. So uh, we're just going to ignore that for a bit. So oh, we got a bit more. It's, Bit more wood there, so let's make a sixth chest. All right, like that. Um, the material you make the chests out of doesn't matter. It's not like uh, doors or fences or things like that. Um, and we actually have a variety of different types of wood here, and I think I'd like to actually narrow those down a little bit uh, just to make it easy to carry. Right, so we have our six chests. Now what we need to do is make some. Um, uh, what they called? They are called trip wires. And to make the trip wires, we're going to need those. We're going to need sticks, and I think it's blocks of wood. Let's just confirm that. So, stick, block of wood, makes two trip wire hooks, and we want six of those. Get that out of our inventory, and put those in, and we get trap chests. And trap chests, we can quite comfortably put up. Next to the others, and uh, there we go. That, I think that looks a bit better than double chests and things like that. So, <clears throat> I mean, I could have put three double chests up there. I just like single chests for some reason. Now, how to tell the difference between an ordinary chest and a chap chest? If you look at the front of this one, it's brown around the uh, the metal clasp, whereas this one is redder around the metal clasp. That's, that indicates that this one is a trap chest. So now we have lots of space. I will spread this stuff around and organize it later on, and uh, uh, perhaps put some uh, some signs up to say what it is. But uh, right now, what I want to do is uh, first of all, I want to sleep. Then I'm going to pop over to the desert and pick up some glass, uh, some sand to make some glass, and then after that, we're going to look at farming. There you go, now it's morning. Great thing about single player games is you never have to get other people to sleep at the same time for you. Which is a great help. Oh, actually, we don't need to go to the desert. Let's just grab some sand here, shall we? Dig sand with a shovel. 
six six is enough so let's come back and pop those into the furnace All right, um, ideally we'd use eight and then burn a piece of card, uh, car, car, charcoal. I was going to say cardboard for some reason there. Um, I'm not going to bother. I just want the six. So we'll just stick with the six. And while that's cooking, let's go and look at the farms situation. Okay, there's um, a few different farm things I would like to make. Um, I would like to make uh, some a wheat farm. Um, I want to go and see if we can catch these cows and um we're gonna make a tree farm as well so get these all sorted out and then if uh if with the chances happen this episode if we have enough time what i want to do is make a um make a mob farm as well which just a very very simple mob farm that will help us you know, get experience catch things well in the meantime let's go and grab ourselves some wood and we will then go and make some fences and we can start building our farms then so okay so you don't need for you to watch this you've seen this once already before before so i will cut out now and i'll see you guys when i have enough wood running around getting wood and I think I have enough of it now I noticed this so it looks like we got a cave down here which is good let's just stick our noses in it very quickly yep that goes oh that goes quite a distance I think that's going to be a nice place to explore so we will definitely be coming back to that but in the meantime we have farms to make. I think I heard lava there. Hmm. Perhaps this might be a more interesting place than we thought. But anyway, right, we have uh, some logs now, so we're going to make some wood and uh, we're going to make some fences. But the first thing I want to do is actually lay out our. Uh, lay out our, our wheat farm which I'm going to do over here by this dried lake so we'll build it here in fact let's just oop, didn't mean to do that let's just clear off the snow here and I think 555 five, five will probably do to start off with nothing stopping us from making a larger um, farm later on but to start off with, that 555 five, five is more than enough, and I'll show you why in just a sec. Let's put that uh, block of earth back. Incidentally, snowball stacking 16s, which is sometimes really quite annoying. Best thing to do with snowballs? Throw them at things! Right, okay, so we have a 5x5 five five square here which we are going to till and uh, plant some seeds. We've got a few seeds. I think
think we've got a few seeds in the chest. If not, we're going to go hunting for them. Uh, we're going to go hunting for them. Actually, oh, I think I'll take that that sugar as well while I'm at it. And doesn't actually look like we have. Oh, probably left the hoe back in the starting house. So how's that? Okay, that's cooking nicely. It just stick those actually. Stick that staircase in there, that'll probably do the trick. Okay, so we're going to need to make a hoe. And you do that like that. Two planks across the top, or iron bars, or diamonds, or gold bars. It's your choice. Two sticks gives you a hoe, which we're going to use to till the land. And we don't have any. Uh, seeds. So you get seeds by punching long grass, which we're going to do here. We're just going to punch. There we go. We picked up one seed. Let's put it on the bar so we can see it build up. Uh, if we can get up to about half a dozen, that'll be good. Right. Long grass. Uh, long grass, as you can see, forms naturally on anywhere where grass can be. It doesn't grow back. So if you punch this stuff out, I thought I swapped that over. There we go. Um, if you punch the grass out, it will not grow back, but you can grow it back by applying bone meal to grass, which if you've seen any of my recent uh, episodes where I've been uh, landscaping, you will have seen that happen to be quite a lot uh, on my search for pretty flowers, which is the other thing you'll get if you bone meal grass. So there we go, six, that'll do nicely, uh, do for a start. Okay, right. Right, so we'll start off quickly. We'll do two quick little farms. I think this will work by the other one. Ice. We're just going to have to check that one because I'm not entirely certain. All right. Um, nope. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. You can plant. Um, you can plant sugar next to water. Okay, it's got to be next to water. It has to be adjacent. It will not plant anywhere else. I do know, not know what will happen when that turns back into ice. So we'll have to see. All right, so, um, planting seeds. You use the hoe. And you hoe the land like that. Just a simple right click. And then right click on the farmland with seeds. And you get a little plant. And if you look at it with F3, and if you have extra information put on, which is F3 and H, you can see that's a, uh, it's Minecraft wheat. It's on the right-hand corner, age 0. They'll grow up to age 7. When they're age, age 7, you can punch them to get weeds and seeds out of them. So let's just plant this last one. There we go. Uh, stuff grows faster if it's irrigated. And it, um, you can irrigate things within a two-block radius. So... If we punch out the middle of this 5x5 five five block and then go get some water. And I believe I have some water or a bucket in here. Um, I have some water in a bucket in here. Now, just pop this in there. And what will happen there is this will, these um, earth marks will darken. And that will show, there we go, there's one. That will show that this is irrigated. And the, the wheat in there will grow faster. So eventually what we want to want to do is plant everything in this 5x5 five five radius. And then if we want to plant some more, we do another 5x5, five five, another 5x5, five five, and another 5x5, five five five, and so on. And eventually we'll get some nice crops going. Now, there's one more thing I want to do, which is stop things from jumping up and down on these. Because let me just... Okay, if something comes and jumps on a, a, a piece of furrowed land, it turns back into earth. Which means that if there's a crop growing on it, the crop is lost. Um, it just turns back to seeds. If you're not there to pick it up, you lose the seeds. So what I want to do now is I want to start uh, making some fences and actually looking at fencing around. Oh, that's interesting. Look. That's turned back into ice and that survived. We're learning things today. Let's see what happens when that one turns. But... Uh, if that's fine, that's good. And we're also going to be learning here whether um, 
This will irrigate when it turns back into ice, which we don't know yet. So we'll have to find out. Okay, so. Oh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's just uh, do it like that. We just break some uh, ice like that, turn it into water, and I can fill the bucket up, and the water will refill the area I take. And that's. Uh, now I've got a bucket of water again. Okay, what I want to do now is make some fences and make some gates. So we turn, we're just going to grab a load of spruce like that, and we're going to grab a load of sticks like this. Okay, and the way you make fences is like this. And it's worth pointing out that anyone who's played 1.7, that is a completely different design. It's because you can now specify what type of fence. So you use spruce wood, you get spruce, you use oak, you get oak, and so on. So we'll grab a few of those. Actually, probably more than I need, but uh, at the moment I'm quite comfortable with that. I'm also going to make a few gates as well, which is the opposite. Uh, four. Four will do nicely. That's probably more than I need, but possibly not. Okay, so. First things first. Oh, it's night. Let's sleep. Or oh, flood myself with a, a bucket of water, one or the other. Uh, it's night. Let's sleep. Too slow. Let's go kill the monsters. Kill the zombie. Kill the zombie. There we go. All right. Now let's try sleeping again. Preferably before that creeper notices us. There we go. All right. Unfortunately, creepers don't catch fire in the morning, so I'm going to run over there and deal with him anyway. Because the last thing we want is exploded stuff. Where were you? You were... Oh, actually, there's a couple of you. Right. Let's try to arrange this so we deal with one at a time. Because that way, you're less likely to explode and destroy everything. One down. There's the other one. Come to me, Mr. Creeper. Come to me. Yeah, that's nice and flat. You keep them bouncing, they won't explode. Simple as that. Um, if, you, if you slip and they look like they're going to start to explode, it takes them a couple of seconds to do explode. Back away, right click with your sword, and it will reduce the amount of damage you take. So, okay, let's start looking at how we're going to fence this off. And... Oh! Okay. We're not going to be growing wheat here. I now we understand. No, not, oh, not, oh, not wheat, sorry. We're not going to be grow. Okay. That's stopped irrigating as well. So it looks like we're going to be building a greenhouse. Or we could perhaps start terrace farming. In fact... We'll probably end up doing both but for now let's uh, put some earth down and build a fence around here so I want some earth that's five that's exactly what I need three four five okay and then ooh, a couple more Just to make this a bit easier to put uh, a fence around, to be honest with you. One, two, yeah, it's perfect. Okay, and we'll put some fences around that. So fence and gates. So just quickly fence off. While we're doing this, uh, let's talk about fences. Fences are an interesting block in Minecraft where they look like a one block high thing. But they are, in fact, two blocks high. Oh, it's actually one and a half blocks high. So you can't jump onto them. Which means if you put a fence around an area, mobs can't get into it. There we go, like that. And let's put a gate in there. And that place is uh, nicely sort, uh, sorted out. You can see, even though it's not irrigated, because the, the bit in the middle has turned to ice, 
um, the crops are still growing. They're just going to grow a little slower. We'll deal with that problem later on and make them grow faster. We'll do that. Well, we'll do that in a couple of ways. I mean, like I was saying earlier on, we will make a greenhouse. We'll also make ourselves perhaps a farm up on those hills there where water should stay water because it's warmer over there, funny enough. Right, so there's our little wheat farm. Uh, what we need to do now is get some wheat because the next thing we want to do is make uh, a cow farm. And to do that, we're just going to speed this up by grabbing this bone meal. And we're going to go and bone meal some of those plants. Same as with the potatoes earlier on. If you just apply a bone meal to plants, they grow. And I want at least four bits of wheat like that. So punching those has given me four bits of wheat and five seeds. I had one in my inventory already. So actually, let's get all of that planted. Where's my hoe? There's my hoe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. All right, so our garden has grown a little bit more. When these have all grown, we should get this all done. We don't need to do that just yet. So we should ignore that for now. Now, animals in this game can get incredibly annoying. I'm not going to beat about the bush. They can be very, very annoying. Uh, very noisy. So do yourself a favor. Build your farms a little bit away from your home. And I'm going to do them here. Just fell that tree because I think it's going to get in the way, so just get that out of it. So let's get back to fencing a place off. And I want a fairly large area. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Definitely not enough fences, so we'll have to go and make some more in a sec. another gate there actually I think and right let's go make some fences quickly and let's stick a gate in there when I'm thinking about it there we go right just finish that off then we're gonna go and get some cows put them in the pen we'll breed up the first pair and make some uh, calves so you can see that's happening there and we'll move on all right so more fences it's amazing how fast you go through these there we go, right. How are we doing for time? It's midday, plenty of time. How are we doing for recording time? 23 minutes, we're running out. But still, we'll get this first bit done. So, simple as that. We got ourselves a nice little fenced off area. And there's a cow. Do you know what cows like? Cows like wheat. You put wheat in front of a cow, the cow will run towards you. Uh, so we need to get him into... Oh, we use that. We need to get him into this. And you can do this in a number of ways. So it, you open a fence, open the gate, the cow will eventually find his way in. They are really, really bad at navigating through gates, but they will eventually do it. You hide the, uh, the wheat, they lose interest in you, and you can walk away and close the gate. Problem is now you've got a cow inside that uh, fence so if you uh, stand over here and you open the gates and you've got some wheat in your hands and you're trying to get uh, another cow in he pays a lot of attention and tries to get out because he wants the wheat. So in order to get the cows in we're gonna have to put a temporary solution in place and I will show you how to do that. I'm just gonna go and get some cows. And by some strange coincidence, here's some cows. Let's see if we can get another one. You interested? Look, wheat. Mmm, yummy meat. No, you're not interested. I, I'll come back and get you later. One is enough. Come on, Ermintrude. Come along. Right, so here we are. 
just dragging the cow, just don't run ahead too much, just take some time, be patient, and they will follow you. If they lose interest, just wait for a few minutes, so a little bit away, and they will follow you again. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a block down here, and get the cow's attention again. Ooh, look, wheat, yes. And I can jump up like that. Cow follows me in, and I can go out through the gate later on. Now, I have two cows. Let's make a third one. There we go. You use wheat on the two cows. They kiss, and a baby cow appears. And aren't they cute? And you get a little bit of experience for doing it as well. In 10 minutes time, they will be ready to mate again, and I think it's about 20 minutes, the cows will grow again. Don't leave a pillar out here, because that's a way for monsters to get in. So there you go, I will fill this up a little bit before the next episode. Unfortunately, we don't have time to do the mob trap, so we will do that in the next episode. Uh, there's some basic farms, wheat farm, we'll have to readdress the, uh, the sugarcane farm, because it won't grow in this environment. And a cow farm. And uh, hopefully in our travel soon we will find sheep, chickens, rabbits, various others. We'll just start getting a nice farm going around here. And once we've got these cows spread up, there's a few of them. They're going to provide meat. They're going to provide leather. And they are going to be very useful for us. So there we go. I have been Simon Parsons. This has been Minecraft the first few days. Thank you and good night.